High School Live. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. What's up? <laughs> how are you? How are you and how is it? I'm good. I'm good. So, and the thing is that I just closed from church, right? So, okay. you'll be you we'll be having this conversation here. Hope yeah, that's no, no problem. It's okay. But we Maybe. are glad you are here. Thank you so much for joining us. What? I can't hear you. I said we are glad to have you. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so you let's, too. let's kick start. What's your actual name? My actual name? Yeah. It's Lisa. <laughs> no, like your full name. <laughs> okay, my full name is Lisa. Na, comma, dark one. Oh, okay. Yes. So tell us something about Lisa. Something about me? Yeah. That you know or you don't know. That we don't know. Eh. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I play the keyboard. Come I play again. Keyboard. I play the keyboard. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I play the foot. I play basketball. I play the basketball. I play soccer. I play basketball. Um I am nineteen. Um, <laughs> what's that game? What? Yeah, that's it. Basically. Okay, so can you briefly take us through your personal background? My personal background. Your educational background. Uh, okay, so back in back in Neji, I went to um, Hallmark International, now called Hallmark International School. Um, I attended. Hello, hello. I'm in an interview. Should I move or you move? choose one okay yeah <laughs> so yeah back to what i was saying um i um my i went to i went to richard school from primary to junior high school and i went to secondary school at ghana national college and i'm presently in the university of ghana Lagos. yeah that's nice so in general how would you say Senior high school life or the skill of good better best. Oh, it was the best. They used to pamper me a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Share us some of your good memories. What? Share with us some of your good memories. Good memories from school? Yeah. Um, the best. The best was Form One's nights. The first time I was asked to dance. Um, so after after I danced, right? Um, that's how people got to know me in the school. And people started treating me better. Like, I could eat with the form threes, and they'll call another form one girl to come and wash. I was a form one then. Oh, okay. So I'll okay, eat so the form and they call another form one girl. Exactly. Okay. Maybe my teachers liked me. Yeah? I was never. Okay, I was suspended some time ago by my headmaster. But that's another story for another day. Let's leave it out of here. <laughs> I think that will come. That will be your worst experience, and that is. It wasn't my worst though. It wasn't my your worst. worst experience. It wasn't your worst. It wasn't experience. my worst. No. Okay, so tell us your worst experience. I never had a worst experience in messages. <laughs> no experience okay, was bad. So tell us about the suspension. Mm, what's my boss? So yeah. there was one visiting, right? And then my manager came, and when I was supposed to do a video for Tenny, because Tenny had texted me to do her song, Billionaire. You know Billionaire? I want to be a billionaire. Yeah. So I did a video in my uniform with a few of my friends, and the video went viral everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. It went viral everywhere. And my headmaster got to find out about the video. He got angry. He came for assembly, he came to talk about that girl that was dancing in the uniform. Where is she? Where is she? When I came, they made me kneel down in front of the whole school. Oh, biggest yawa. <laughs> you know, right? After I knelt down, they made me write a statement describing what happened. After all that, what happened, sir? They gave me internal suspension with my friends. And we were supposed to fetch sand, right? Sand from, our school was on a hill. So we are fetching sand from down the hill to the top of the hill. 50 buckets. <laughs> Every day for one week, I make a boss your mind. I didn't do I didn't do up to ten a day. I can do five when lie down somewhere. 
and I was like, oh, I, I wasn't caught. No, because they punished the boys too, and they didn't know. So the boys were doing the work for us. Okay. Yeah, it was amazing. One of the best, actually. It wasn't the worst. I was happy. I was very happy. <laughs> so, what class were you offering back in school? Business. Business. So, yeah. did you decide to choose dancing as a career path in SHS, or it's not really? Do you want to do it as a full time job? I'll say, I'll say, dance chose me. I didn't choose dance because. <laughs> I want to be a chartered accountant, right? And back in school, I was just dancing for the fun of it because it wasn't getting me punished. My form threes liked me because of dance. So I just continued to pursue it. Then all of a sudden, all this, all these followers, all this, I won't say crowds, but all this, yeah, started coming. I just went with the flow. I'll say it's Grace. Grace did it. Grace. Have your parents been supportive? Very with you dancing and everything. Very supportive. Very very supportive. So, did you hold any position back in school? Yeah, I was in semen prefect, the best. Oh, <laughs> obviously. I was best semen prefect. Oh, it was, it was my batch, my batch's SRC. That was the best. It was only my batch. Oh. <laughs> what advice are you going to give to students who are in school and are also dancing, are dancers like you, young ones like you? I'm going to choose God. Yeah. Choose God. If, if, if I were, I got born again after SHS, right? And I felt like if I got born again in SHS, it would have been so much better. So those who are in school and are dancing, choose God. Because God will take you place. Yeah, after when I got born again, that's when I started seeing top with this dance thing. More businesses that were meant for me were coming to me. So everything, I pray a lot. I'm very prayerful. So I'll let you, I'll tell you that you should choose God. Go to church every Sunday, like worship, praise him. Basically, choose God first. Everything will follow after. What church do you attend? Christ, we just close for midweek. As you can see, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you earn money as a dancer? And if yes, how do you earn it? Yeah, I earn money as a dancer. Yeah. Um, sometimes from the social media we use, like yeah, YouTube, and again? sometimes from artists who contact <laughs> me to stuff for them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes performances as well. Yeah, so... Give us a range. How much will it cost? Maybe if I want you to use my music or something to dance for me, how much will it cost? Give me a range. It's four figures. Four figures? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you are laughing, but I'm serious. I see. Oh, really? Four figures? Yeah. Do you believe in the fact I am taking you back to school again? Do you believe in the fact that people, certain students, are naturally gifted to be very brilliant, whilst others are the opposite? I'm naturally gifted. Someone like me, I'm naturally gifted. To be brilliant. Very, like, you're yeah, very I'm so brilliant. Good. Like, I'm not capping. I was always first in my class. Oh. Yeah, I'm not capping. Like, I'm not joking. Someone who's screaming callers and post it everywhere in my class. Hey, story. I am here with was... a braille. <laughs> yeah, I am I'm... here with a braille. <laughs> <laughs> I was always first in class. Let no, but don't learn. I was always first. But there are people who are not naturally brilliant. They have to work hard. Yeah. What's What's your take on SHS dating and relationships in senior high school? How do you my first class said, um, dates. So, if I'm too young to and I'm 20, SHS students should not even come close to dating. But a lot of people started from senior high school. I mean, they started dating in senior high school and they are married. They have to, they have to break up. <laughs> yeah, they have to break up. They have to break up. Yeah. Please, if you are here and you are dating, Mr. Palmer says break up. <laughs> 
break up. Break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> so That's... how has your journey been so far as a dancer? Was it all gloomy when you started or it was very good when you started? Oh, um, I'm a positive person, right? So I won't say anything was bad. It's all part of the process. The starting wasn't as good as now because I was now starting, but it wasn't bad. Consistency will make everything better. So I'll say at the start, the challenges, yeah, there were challenges, but I didn't focus on them. I just moved with the flow, just always happy. Yeah. Do you in any way receive negative comments and how do you deal with them? Yeah, I receive negative comments, but I don't mind them. If 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 you mind them, they'll get you. You shouldn't mind them. My eyes are brown. <laughs> how do you combine dancing and then your studies? Is it easy? Since you are a bro, I think it will be easy for you. Is it easy? But then, yeah. how do you combine dancing with your yes, studies? Um. Okay. So it's not hard, really. No, it's actually hard. Let me let me be honest. Let me be very very honest. <laughs> when, oh, but then you're umbrella, so you wouldn't be very. Yeah. Let me let me say like this. Yeah. Let me say like this. When when I was coming to university, fresh. Oh, but you know, at the same time, so dance class clashes with my studies, like my study classes. So I'm in the middle of choosing where to go. Because at the same time, I can have a space and a class. So in the, in the end of it, obviously, I'll go for the one that pays. And I'll come back and use my night. And I'm supposed to sleep to them. So there's a lot of sacrifices, basically, in it. And you have to pay for them back, basically. So it's not I easy. I know you are a YouTuber too. So when did YouTube come from? Let me try. The YouTube Okay. I'm saying I don't even have time for my YouTube well, TV, but I'll try and get back to it. Because when, I'm busy with when did you start YouTube? Uh, I started YouTube last it's two years or yeah, two years ago. So, why is it yeah. that you started because you wanted to post your dance videos there or no, just that everybody was obviously doing YouTube? No, for the fun of it. For the fun of it. Okay. okay. Yeah. What advice would you give to a Wasi candidate? Do you think Wasi Let is us. difficult? Let me start with this. Is Wasi difficult? No, no Wasi is basically everything you've learned. That was what Marcus, actually. For my Wasi, I think I had, I had four A's and four B's. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I think my lowest was science because for science, the mafia does nothing from the past question scheme, but it wasn't hard. Overall, so what advice could you give to a WASI candidate? Learn, <laughs> use the past questions. <laughs> Don't know that for is is a poor real? Is it real? Yeah, poor is real sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. like give us a percentage, um, 30 percent real. 30. Yeah. Okay. So don't don't rely on it. But if you are poor, you can learn this, but don't rely on it. So what would you tell someone in senior high school never to do house in school? Don't do drugs. Weed, weed, weed. <laughs> don't do drugs. Please, I guys listening. Don't do drugs and and yeah. It says have fun. That's 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 life. Like have fun. Have something to talk about when you finish. Have fun. But don't do drugs. Even in middle school, don't do what married people do. <laughs> don't um, date. Don't be in a relationship. If um, you have a boyfriend if, or girlfriend, break up with him. <laughs> if you're in a single sex school, don't follow friends. If any any kind of school, don't follow friends. But have fun. So some senior high school students will be wondering the way all of us yeah. hype university yeah. university is nice. There's so much fun. Is it true? Is university yeah. really the way we hear it back in school? It's a lie. It's not true. Why do you say that? 
Because, oh, the Tommy was all chilling then. Okay, you can come and chill. Basically, you're on your own in university, so you can choose what you want to do. When I came to university fresh, right, because I was never 100 fresh, at time, because of, I think they were on strike. So we, we, we got the time to fool. I could go to the beach at dawn. No matter what, no comment. I don't know, call me. Like, it's a free life. And because we're on strike, it was easier for us. But now that the work has come, there's really not no time to chill. People still go clubbing and all. Me, I use my Fridays to pray. <laughs> a lot of people are here and then I guess many people say, oh, I want to be like Lisa. Come, I want to be like Lisa. What do you have to tell them? Be yourself. I can inspire you to do something, but be yourself. You don't have to go and cut your hair like me. You don't have to wear the things I wear. Just be yourself. I can inspire you. I'm being me, so be you, basically. I have a very popular question here. A lot of people want to ask, so I am don't have, for them. I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> That's the question. Oh. The question is, they are saying I should ask you whether you are related in any way to Malcolm Nuna. Yeah, we are related. Malcolm and I are related. How? He's my brother. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought, you thought you thought you thought what? No, we just wanted to know. Ah, uh, you wanted. Uh, people thought we were in a relationship. Yeah, that's true. But he's my brother. Okay. Yeah, our father is Abung. Your father is Abongo. That's our father. Oh, okay. okay. So finally, in general, what simple message would you give to all students in senior high school? Pray. Pray more. You are younger. You are younger. There's more time to pray. Because prayers, prayers, prayers is a form of investment. And it's the prayers that you form your life. So use more of your time in, in SHS to pray. Because after school, you'll not get time. You'll be rushing in prayers. Just pray. Follow God, basically. If I had done that earlier, it would have, it would have been one of the happiest things for me. Yeah. So what is your biggest regret so far? Biggest. In 18 years. What's your biggest regret? Biggest regret. <laughs> Biggest regret. Oh, that I didn't give my life to God early. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's my biggest regret. Yeah, basically. So, I think I'll pick questions now. And please, if you have any questions, just ask for me. Yes. I can't see the chat section. It's like it's stuck. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll ask. All right. Let's see. Please, if you have any question, just ask in the comment section for me to voice it out. Lisa. Yeah. Um, someone is asking if you have links for Wayek. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't get links for Wayek. <laughs> After I finish, I finished two years ago. I don't have links. Okay, Sorry. so what course are you offering now? What program are you offering now? Business administration. Okay. <laughs> Level level two hundred. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. So you see, I finished school two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Someone says, "Have you ever been in a relationship?" No, I don't even know what it means. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lisa has already said her full name. Pushing, I think she has answered that she's in Legon. Yeah, I'm in Legon. Someone says, Why are you not in a relationship? Because it's not time. Every relationship you get to in this age, you are just doing it for fun. It's a waste of time. Are you going to marry no. the person right now? No. So end this, bro. End it, sis. <laughs> When do you think is the best time to be in a relationship? When you're going to get married. If you feel you get married at 19, you can be in a relationship. If you feel you get married at 25, you can be in a relationship by that time. But not when you're in school. At this age, no. Don't you have things to do? Don't you have aims? Don't you have achievements? <laughs> okay, so someone says, have you traveled outside the country before? Yeah, I have. 
Where? I went to US, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, okay. Back in class six, when life was easier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I know you are in DWP now. Who is your favorite dancer? Me. Yes. Yeah, me. You. Hey. No, I want another person. <laughs> Everybody there. Everyone there's family. Everyone there's No, favorite. tell me one. Tell me one. Give me a name. Um, dance God. Dance God. Yeah. Okay. So someone says, how do you cope with the fans when they see you? Hmm. Sometimes when I'm not in a good mood, I'm forced to smile and things like that. Aside that, it's fine. Everything is cool. They are family because they are supporting me. So yeah. I'm very yeah. yeah. They are family. How many siblings do you have? Two. Malcolm and my little brother. Okay. <laughs> Someone says, so, um, how would you describe Mr. Atusafo during your stay in National? Hey, Mr. Atu, a very, very nice man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Atu was very, very calm. He's one of the best headmasters. He just was the best for us. Yeah. Basically. When am I dropping my next song? <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> that time, no, that, that was my first and last song. I'm not trying it again. Let me stick to my. Why? Dancing. Why ain't she try it again? I didn't think it was. I didn't think it sounded good. When someone says, "Why are you going road tour?" Um, I'll I'll get back to you guys right now. We have to get meet somebody. So, um, you guys should be on hold. So okay. sorry for this. I'm putting the phone on the car. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. okay. Please, if you have any questions, just when you come to us now, ask them. Yes, you say Malcolm Buddha is her brother. I know, yeah, I'm not school. <laughs> Please, you'll be right back to answer your question. High school live. <laughs> High school.